Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors. to pay, make your joy and praises known at the Paschal Victim's throne. For the sheep the Lamb has bled, sinless in the sinner's stead. Christ the Lord is risen on high, now he lives no more to die. Christ the victim undefiled, God and sinners reconciled. When in strange and awful strife, met together death and life. Christians on this happy day, haste with joy your vows to pay. Christ the Lord is risen on high, now he lives no more to die. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus be with you. Amen. Spirit. As we gather to celebrate the Eucharist today, we pause and we ask Jesus to forgive us our sins. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. Enable us, we pray, Almighty God, to proclaim the power of the risen Lord, that we who have received the pledge of his gift may come to possess all he gives when it is fully revealed. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The community of believers was of one heart and mind, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had everything in common. With great power, the apostles bore witness to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and great favor was accorded them all. There was no needy person among them, for those who owned property or houses would sell them and bring the proceeds of the sale and put them at the feet of the apostles, and they were distributed to each according to need. Thus, Joseph, also named by the apostles Barnabas, which is translated son of encouragement, a Levite a Cypriot by birth, sold a piece of property that he owned, then brought the, prop the money and put it at the feet of the apostles. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. The Lord is king, in splendor robed, Robed is the Lord, and girt about with strength. The Lord, Lord is, is king, he is robed in majesty. And he has made the world firm, not to be moved. Your throne stands firm from of old. From everlasting you are, O Lord. The Lord, Lord is, is king, he is robed in majesty. Your decrees are worthy of trust indeed. 
holiness befits your house, O Lord, for length of days. The Lord is king, he is robed in majesty. <clears throat> Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Son of Man must be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. Alleluia. Let the Lord be in your heart and on your lips that you may worthily the infinity to proclaim his holy gospel. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to Nicodemus, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound it makes, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. Nicodemus answered and said to him, how can this happen? Jesus <clears throat> answered and said to him, you are the teacher of Israel, and you do not understand this? Amen, amen, I say to you. We speak of what we know, and we testify to what we have seen. But you people do not accept our testimony. If I tell you about earthly things, and you do not believe, how will you believe if I tell you about heavenly things? No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven, the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the first reading today, we see the early Christian community uh, living as a community, uh, looking after one another. Um, they were selling their property, as we saw uh, the man in today's first reading, sold a piece of his property and gave it over to the church. Um, one of the reasons why the early Christians could do that is because they figured the Lord Jesus was coming soon in glory and the end of the world was here soon. We see later on in Paul's first letter to the Thessalonians that he says, you have to go back to work. Some people felt that uh, the end of time was coming so soon that they had enough money to get them through until those days. Uh, and Paul says, no, Christ is coming. He's coming soon, but um, it's going to be a while yet. So get back to work and uh, live according to the gospel. We see Nicodemus, Nicodemus today is a member of the Sanhedrin a respected man in a, a Jewish community, one of the leaders uh, of the 70 elders in the Sanhedrin. And um, yet he's kind of embarrassed to see Jesus in public because of what his friends might think. So he comes to see him at night. I wonder sometimes if maybe we aren't a little bit like Nicodemus too. We come here, we profess our faith very boldly here in church, but are we always willing to profess it in public? Uh, sometimes they're so often afraid to uh, really be known as Jesus. Somebody might ask us some questions about our faith and we're unable to answer them or whatever. We might be embarrassed. So we just kind of keep our faith quietly. We talk about everything else, weather, football, etc., etc. But do we really talk about our, our faith, our will to, to share it openly? Are we even uh, willing to let people know we're Catholics and followers of Jesus by making the sign of the cross in the public restaurant. So often we're afraid to do that. Maybe we can learn a lesson from Nicodemus. He finally did grow up after the crucifixion of Jesus. Then he was no longer afraid to be known as a follower of Jesus. He helped uh, Joseph of Arimathea bury Jesus. And from that time on, 
people knew in the Sanhedrin that he was a follower of Jesus, and he was no longer afraid to, be, uh, to profess that he was. Sometimes if we live up to our faith, people might um, ridicule us or whatever. I remember um, in one of my jobs, I was working with a number of young people my age, and some of them were pretty, pretty vulgar in their language and misusing the name of God and Jesus. And I finally had the courage to say to them, you know, it really offends me when you always talk like that and misuse the name of Jesus. And they became very defensive and said, what are you, a holy Joe, et cetera, et cetera. But I just repeated when he got through. But it really offends me when I hear you talking like that because I have a deep respect for Jesus and so do other people. And it was amazing after that, uh, their language uh, was very guarded around me. So I got the results I was looking for him, um, but it caused a little commotion at the moment. But we have to be willing to do that. Um, the early Christians were willing to suffer martyrdom in proclaiming their um, um, allegiance to Jesus. Uh, we certainly ought to be willing to stand up and share our faith too. Of course, in order to do that, we have to know our faith too. And it isn't that hard. There are four main parts to our faith, the creed, the sacraments, commandments, and prayers. And everyone even knows all those four things. And really, that's all you need to know. And if you know the 20 mysteries of the rosary, and I hope you all do, you have a summary of all four Gospels, the life of Jesus. With that information, you should be able to talk about your faith for hours, and people will know that you really know what you're talking about. So think about it and pray about it. Maybe let's pray to Nicodemus and ask him to help us, not to be like him in the beginning, but in the end to be bold and courageous in professing our faith and letting other people know that we really believe and are followers of him. With that in mind, let us pray. <clears throat> oh God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of our faith. Inspired by the Holy Spirit, may we always be ready and willing and eager to profess it and proclaim it to others. Grant us this and the favors we ask in Jesus' name. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop George Lucas, and for all parishioners of the Archdiocese of Omaha, that we will proclaim our love of Jesus to those around us. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish family, as we look ahead to the future and make plans to build a parish center, that we may be guided by the Holy Spirit and work together to, to bring this project to completion. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have turned away from the Lord Jesus through serious sin, that they may respond to the promptings of the Holy Spirit and turn back to him. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are ill, that they may experience the healing presence of Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, that they may know the joys of eternal life with our risen Lord. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for more vocations to the priesthood and religious life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the abundance of rain throughout the growing season. We pray to the Lord. Amen. For all of our unspoken needs and intentions, <laughs> let us now pause and pray to the Lord in silence. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Later on this evening, uh, the Archbishop and many of the priests of the Archdiocese will be meeting in Fremont for some time in prayer in the afternoon. Uh, huge uh, celebration of the Eucharist and a big dinner afterwards honoring our priest jubilarians. Some of you remember Father, um, um, <laughs> that's great when you get old, Bob Dufford, he wrote a lot of the music that we used in church. He's celebrating his golden uh, jubilee, uh, Father Norm Hunky uh, and Father Jim Cramper. You remember Father Jim, he used to be here they are celebrating their uh, golden uh, jubilee this year, this year. And then we have a number of other priests celebrating their 40th and 25th. So pray for all of them especially, and um, pray that we'll have more priests uh, to celebrate their jubilees in the future. This will be the first year for years and years in the Archdiocese that we don't have anybody being ordained to the priesthood. 
Uh, so I think in late May or early June, we're going to have a special day of prayer throughout the Archdiocese, uh, praying for more vocations of the priesthood and religious life. But tonight, let's pray for all those celebrating their jubilees. Let's ask God to bless them for the years of service and grant them many more. So for them, we pray to the Lord. And we offer this Mass today for the living and deceased of the Laverne Torson family. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, our Father in heaven, please grant us these and all our needs, for which we pray to you today in Jesus' name, for he is Lord forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. <clears throat> and blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer with humble and contrite hearts. Wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Okay. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal const constantly at work within us may be the cause of an ending joy through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. <laughs> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to lodge you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us but defends us and even pledges our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives now forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna hosanna in the highest and blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. <clears throat> you are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created right gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your near name. 
And therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognize in the sacrificial victim by his death that will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect especially with the Most Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Joseph, St. Isidore, and with all your saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely from failing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and George, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, the entire people your Son has gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you summon before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to our the passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow in the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. With the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace.
Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us your peace. Behold the Lamb of God, Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Please join me in making a spiritual communion. <clears throat> My Jesus, I believe you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you to my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you if you're ready there, and I myself holy to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Our communion hymn is number 172, Ye Sons and Daughters. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, ye sons and daughters, let us sing, the King of heaven, the glorious King. Over death today is triumphing, Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. That Easter morn at break of day, the faithful women went their way to seek the tomb where Jesus lay. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. An angel clad in white they see, who each sat and spoke unto the three. Your Lord is gone to Galilee. Alleluia. 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 Alleluia.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayer, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and grant you his peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Our final hymn is number 178, Jesus Christ is Risen Today. <clears throat> Jesus Christ is risen today, Alleluia. Our triumphant holy day, Alleluia. Who did once upon the cross, Alleluia, suffer to re Redeem our loss, Alleluia. Hymns of praise, then let us sing, Alleluia. Unto Christ our heavenly King, Alleluia. Who endured the cross and grave, Alleluia. Sinners to redeem and save, Alleluia. Today's Morning Mass is brought to you in part by these sponsors.